Hello everybody, in this video I'll be reviewing and uh, unboxing this high definition digital video camera recorder. It's 1080p. It's got a 16 megapixel camera. It only supports 32 gigabyte max storage. It does 1.2 meter to infinity focus. Don't know what that means. It's got different image resolutions as the standard. It's got the eight different movie resolution. So we just got move resolution here. So the zoom is 16 time digital zoom. It's got some different options. The white balance. It's got a USB port. It's got an auto power off. It's got a microphone, speaker. It's got a 2.7 inch monitor screen. You can output this to a TV using PAL NTSC. Only weighs 220 grams. So let's just open this up. So you see, please read the user manual carefully before use. I'm not gonna do that. It's got the power adapter here. Obviously, wrong plug. Fortunately, I've got other power adapters. It's got the charger. And it's got the video output. So I'm just going to open this up. So it's got no, no battery charged at the moment. So I'll charge this and then get back to you. It's got the battery here on the side, on and off button here, obviously, obviously oh it is turning on, so I'm just gonna do some zooming. there is no card it's got different resolutions so it's got 16 this is for taking photos the timer settings format version this is goes through the different there's a mode button here so it's going through the different options so it's got the video option okay well this isn't a touch screen by the way so to switch or, ch or change any of the settings you gotta use these control buttons on the actual camera unit so you've got the movie I'm assuming this is recording audio only and you've got to take photos so I'll charge this up and then take some video and then show you the quality of the video okay we're back now the video recorder should be fully charged let me just turn that on just hold it for a few seconds until you get the welcome screen okay yes it looks like it's fully charged but it's got no it's no card so I'm just gonna put in an an SD card this is using a uh, an SD adapter. I've got a, a micro SD card inside there. So we just put this in. Push it in until you hear like a click sound. There you go. There's a click sound. 
Okay, so at the moment it's set to image mode. Press the mode button. Switches it to the camera. I think this is recording now. Actually, this is just turns on and off the front LED light. So pressing this button just turns on this LED light. Okay, so this top button here is to record. trying to record so it's possible that I need to format the card let's so just go to the settings I saw the format option here so click on that this will format everything that is on the card so we'll do that Format successful. Now let's try to record. Okay, yes, so now it's recording. It seems to be displaying the, the date and time, so that needs to be changed. So I'm just going to record so you can see that I'm just recording what's in front here. Let's see if I can zoom in. So the zooming doesn't really, you can't really zoom when it's recording, so I think you've got to turn that off. Then zoom, yeah. The zooming is not that great. I can't really read what's on that adapter. This is the, so that's the 16 times zoom. Let me just record some other things. I've got a battery over there. So I'll share this video so you can see the quality from this video camera. The camera itself is very light. I still think that you might as well record using your mobile phone instead of having to carry another device the only good thing about maybe this camera is if you're vlogging you can flip the flip the screen so that you can actually see what you're recording besides that I don't see any other advantages you, you definitely get a better quality using a high-end mobile phone or even just a another video camera so you can compare the quality yourself I'll share this with everyone in this video if this video helped you in any way give it a like and subscribe to the channel